Hi, my name is Mark McPherson. Welcome to another one of my blogs in the series, 52 blogs in 52 weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. This week I'm talking about and writing about number 15, the interferer. The interferer is somebody who interferes when you are trying to do work. Uh, or maybe having a private conversation. They'll come up and say, oh, what are you doing? Uh, oh, are you busy at the moment? Now, that's the first thing the interferer says, but the interferer is, is not stopped uh, when we say stuff like, yes, actually, I'm really, really busy. I must do this work. I've got so much work on my plate. But they're not stopped by that. They're not perturbed by you saying that. They continue with, um, oh, what exactly are you doing at the moment? Uh, oh, that looks like something I've done before. Oh, I know a, f a fair bit about that stuff. They say all those sorts of things. So not only do they ask, are they interfering? Sometimes they don't, of course. Not only they ask, but then they continue to interfere when they really should know better or we've told them. Even when we said, yes, I'm really busy, I've got to get on with it. They continue. So, and they interfere in conversations too. When you're having a private conversation, they're the, they're the sort of person who'll come up and say, oh, it looks like you're having a private conversation. Well, yes, we are. So why are you asking that? And when you say, yes, look, we've got something to talk about at the moment, it's, it's personal, oh, they'll say, oh, I'll oh, better leave you alone then. Well, yes, you're better, but they don't. So the interferer uh, might stay there or they'll come back a second and third time. So the interferer is those people around the office, for example, who continually interfere in your work when you are busy and you've got to get things done. So how do we handle them? Well, there's lots of ways in which we handle them. And funnily enough, one of the first ways, the most basic ways is we, we run off from them. Um, we're the, we handle them by saying, uh, oh, I'm going to work from home tomorrow, or I'm going to the cafe to work, or, I'm going to sit in the car, or, I'm going to the meeting room and put a sign on the door which says, do not disturb, or we go to the library. So we get away from these, these people. Uh, we also just get away from the noise of the phone and stuff too, not just from the interferer. But we just uh, get away from these people. Now, I've got all these different ways and we handle these different people listed. And that's one of the most basic things we do. Uh, we just limit our contact, avoid these people. Another time is that we just tell them that we're busy. So for some people it works. We say, look, I'm really, really busy at the moment. I've got to get on with this work. Some people get it. I get it. Perhaps you get it. But the interferer most certainly doesn't. They don't take no for an answer. So sometimes I think we've got to be stronger. Sometimes we've actually really got to say to these people very seriously, assertively, yet tactfully, yet diplomatically, we've actually got to say, Peter, I have a real lot of work to do at the moment. I have a deadline. It must be done. That's the third time you've come over and talked to me this morning. I'm sorry, mate. I really have to do work. I know it might appear rude, but I cannot talk to you. Can you please not come to my desk again? Now, for some people, I know that sounds, oh, so terribly rude and uh, whatever, but you try everything first. You move away, you say, yes, I really am busy. Oh, Pete, can you please not, inter uh, could you please not see me now? I've really got this work to do. We do things like that, but if it doesn't work, you've got to turn around and really, I think, lay it on the line. Not rudely, not nastily, but definitely assertively. And that's why I use scripts to keep us on track to make sure that we're assertive yet diplomatic, we don't wander off our, our tangents and we're as objective as possible. Anyway, that's enough of the interferer. If you'd like to talk to me about the interferer or any of my other uh, 52 types of people or any other issue about dealing with difficult people, please uh, contact me. The easiest way is on my contact uh, page of my website. Simply go there, Book yourself in for a time when I can call you. You choose the time, you choose the, the, the day, and I will call you and we can have a quick chat. Never any obligation, of course. Whatever you're doing, have a great time. Look after yourselves, look after your family, and hope to talk to you soon. See you later.